So first arrange all the media so that the top ones will be in the front and the bottom ones will be behind the scene. Open Parallaxer from the script menu. Now select all the media nodes and then hit this button that will add a controller for each node. You'll arrange the media positions and transformations on these controllers. Now you can merge it and see the result. Now do it for all the media. After you are satisfied with the arrangement, select all the controllers. Now this input field is for how much space you want in between all your elements in 3D space. You can type anything or you can slide the slider to get a value. I'll leave this as one, now hit the run button. And you can walk through in the 3 d view with middle and right button on mouse. The right viewer, it looks exactly like what you made in 2D. Now you can see on the left side, there is the 3D scene. These are all the image planes. And this is the camera you have to control to get the final result. Now if you move the camera, you will see it's working perfectly, but it's not smooth. If you want to see the scene in real time, turn on the proxy mode and increase the proxy level. In my case, it's 4. Now if I move the camera, you can see it's not lagging. Now you can see that the plant on the scene is not fully shown when the camera is closed to the object. So let's manage the position on the 3 to view. Now, if I move the camera to the plant, you'll see it's perfectly fitting on the camera. Now, let me walk you through over the features. This button set the camera target to the last image plane. If you haven't moved the last plane, it'll set the target position to the last calculated position. Now you can see so you can move the camera around the target. Now let's add background and text. Now let's see how it's look. As you can see, we are getting weird view, so let's reset the camera position. And you can turn on and turn off the proxy mode so you can see how it's look when it's rendered. Select all the image planes, now hit this button now, this will randomize the positions of image planes. Now this button disable and enables the selected tools so you can compare the look. Now this button enables the depth blur to the render node. And you can change different settings to get the perfect result. With this button, you can enable the focal plane so that you can see where it's focusing. And it's auto set the focal plane to the first image plane. And move the plane where you want to focus. Now this button toggles the grid on the 3D scene. And this button fit the 3D viewer so you can see whole 3D skin. And this button toggle the camera dot so you can better manage the position. And the best part of this plugin is to move the object in's axis without having to worry about the scaling. It'll always fit the viewer so you can manage the image plane without any worries. As you can see, I'm moving the object, but it's not scaling on the viewer, so you never have to worry about scaling. Now if I move the camera, it's working perfectly, 